patient has come to me with a generalised periodontitis. So it's where plaque and bacteria are tunnelling down and kind of pulling the structure of the gum away from the tooth. And eventually, if not treated, can attack the bone. So I'm just going to kind of show you the pockets. I'm using my probe and it's got kind of millimetre measurements. And it's just showing you that around these areas, the probe kind of dips in under the gum more than it should. So it's all right there, actually. But just here, so it's gone in about five millimetres here and around the sort of canine premolar zone. It kind of just dips in here. So we've cleaned under it today with the ultrasonic. So the hygienist can usually use a bit of anaesthetic if the gum's a bit tender um, uh, or try without. Um, but it's basically just really cleaning under these pockets and getting them to reattach. So after cleaning, we advise the patients to use teepees. Um, can I get some teepees actually, Jazz? Um, little interdental brushes just to push through these sites to keep them clean. The most important thing is trying to make sure that we choose the correct colour for the size spaces. So for example, uh, this is a yellow teepee and you can bend it first if you want to get it at a good angle. And you basically just find the gap and gently push. And it's got to feel quite snug as you go in and out about five times and then find the next gap. If it's too tight and doesn't go in, don't force it in. You then want the next color down, which is blue. So you'll have different size spaces and your hygienist should be able to size this up for you. So blue goes in this one. It didn't quite go in that one, so the next size down was the red, which is here. It might just be my angulation. There we go. So in and out. And it's don't worry about the bleeding. The bleeding is because the bacteria is causing the inflammation. So the more you clean, the less they will bleed. The other thing that I wanted to show you today was this Wisdom Interspace brush. It's a super slim, so it means it's quite long on the end. These are about £3 in the shop. Um, and you can dip it in salt water or um, a mouthwash. And the aim is just to try and basically find the area, angling it down into the gum. So you're not flat on the tooth. You want to go down into the pocket, just gently small circles, working the brush around all the nooks and crannies as you go. And that should basically help with this uh, gum disease. So I've kind of treated it under the gum and then the patient's going to stop the bacteria continuing the process on top of the gum. Um, I also wanted to show you a wisdom tooth on this right hand side. So this patient has it right, sits right in his cheek. Is that all right on there? Can you see? Um, should we put the light on so if we can get a better view on here? It might flash a bit. So between, sometimes between the wisdom teeth, you can see it's right in the cheek. It's growing through at a difficult angle. So right at the back of this molar, there's a slight pocket that dips into about six millimetres, five, six here. So again, it's getting the little tufted brush in at this sort of junction and splay the bristles into that crevice. So you stop getting food and plaque stuck in there. Um, and that should also help. And you can also access it obviously from this side as well. Um, so hopefully that's a bit of a more, a kind of detailed conversation of how to use and clean a periodontitis. Um, any questions on the video, just let me know. Okay, thanks, bye.